Hi guys, so I had a request for a video on how to pump by a subscriber, so I thought I would just go over that. You have the Medela Pump and Style Electric Double Pump. Um, I mentioned this in many videos that I prefer my Lancinol Manual Pump um, over my Medela Electric Pump, um, and I'll go over both of those and how to assemble them and also how to use them. Okay, so first of all, I have my Medela pump plugged in right now, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is the actual pump, the pump brain, basically. Um, right here is how you're going to turn it on. Right here is um, a little rubber piece, and if you want to only pump on one side, you cover one side or the other. If you want to double pump and you want to do both breasts, you can just leave both of those open and put this on the little middle peg. And then right here is the letdown button, and that button right there is going to, you're going to press that when you feel a letdown coming on. Um, and then obviously this is the cord right here. And I will assemble my pump here. In my pump bag, I, I will do what's in my pump bag um, at a later date, but um, I just keep my tubes in a plastic baggie. The tubes look like this. On one end they have these and that's going to plug into your flanges. And on the other end you're going to have this and that's going to pump or plug into your pump. Okay, so this is how they plug in. You just take this side and plug it right over that. And then you have this right here. It has milk in it because I pumped, but um, this is your regular Medela bottle. Um, they are five ounce bottles and they unscrew and then here is your membrane and then the piece the membrane connects to, I'm not sure what this yellow piece is called, and then your flange. Um, this just comes off, if you take it off you just kind of wiggle it back and forth, just be careful not to rip this white piece. If this white piece rips then sometimes your pump won't work um, the best, the suction won't be that great and I have had to replace this because of a ripped um, membrane. So I have two of these and I just connect this piece into the top right there. And then you're ready to pump. Now what I generally do is, I didn't get the bra that is for hands free pumping. I just use my nursing bra and there's the little um, triangular piece. I separate that from the rest of the bra and I slip my flange in there and then I it kind of holds it good enough and if I'm sitting down I have my legs hold the bottle part up. Um, I just found that that was easiest. I didn't want to spend 30 bucks for it if I didn't know if I was going to stick with pumping. If I would have stuck with it and I wanted my electric pump I would have done it. Um, but like I said I prefer my manual pump over my electric pump. Um, so all you do is, I'm not going to expose myself, but um, I will override this, um, but you just connect them to your breast, <coughs> and then, and then you turn your pump on here. So everything is connected, and I'm going to turn it on max speed, and 
you will hear what it's going to sound like when it's connected to your breasts. Now, when your pump is on max speed, if you're feeling uncomfortable, uncomfortable, make sure you turn the speed down a little bit. The faster you go, it, it's not going to matter the amount of milk that you get. Um, you're going to get the same amount that you would on a slower speed. Um, so go ahead and turn that down. Just make sure you're comfortable because you don't want cracked nipples. And sometimes if you have too bad of cracked nipples, um, your milk will have blood in it and it's okay to feed the baby from what I've read and asked different doctors um, but I throw that milk away because I don't I know that if she was attached and I have those cracked nipples obviously she's getting that milk and I don't know if it has blood in it at all um, but in my preference if I would rather not give her a bag of milk dethawed that had blood in it um, and once it's frozen, you can tell it separates and there's almost a red pink tint to it. Um, so that's how I knew that there was blood in the, um, milk that I have pumped before. Um, and sorry if I sound real stuffy, I'm getting over a cold and, and now I have the pump still going and I'm going to show you what it sounds like when it's not in a letdown. When you first turn the pump on, it starts with a letdown and it's going to stimulate your breasts your nipples and it's gonna go a lot quicker and then after some time it's gonna start slowing down and not pumping as fast here baby here baby and then after the letdown it's gonna you're gonna notice it's gonna slow down and you're not gonna have it pump as fast um, they do say to um, start doing multiple letdowns if you can some people can some people can't um, now a letdown is when your breasts are letting that milk down. It makes sense, but when I first started, I had no idea what that meant. Um, so it's, you'll notice in the letdown, your milk will be coming out a lot, a lot, a lot quicker. Um, and you'll also be able to tell what I was able to tell, um, when you're having a letdown. Your nipples will feel tingly, almost like a numb, tingly, tickly, weird sensation. Um, and then if you do feel that, go ahead and press this button and then you can have another letdown and you'll get more milk flowing faster. Now this is what it sounds like once the pump has been run and after the letdown. If you notice, it's a lot slower. Um, now... If you are pumping at work, and I will do a walkthrough of what my schedule was when I was pumping at work, when I was working. Um, I'm not currently working right now, but I'll still go ahead and do a video as to how I did that. Um, but I would just unhook cords, and then I would put these in the fridge. Now the milk that sits on these is not going to get spoiled because it's in the fridge. Um, so go ahead and put those in the fridge and then you can use them as normal and you don't have to wash them between each feeding or each pumping session. Um, so go ahead and put them in the fridge and then when you're ready to use them again, you can use them again and then at night when you're done for the day, go ahead and wash them up how you would normal and the next day start all over again. One thing I would suggest getting is um, the Medela Quick Clean Wipes. Um, those I would just wipe with those, I would just wipe down the inside of the flange and down the spout just a little bit, um, just to get some of that off. Because when it is in the fridge, um, some of that milk will harden. It won't get bad, but it will get hardened. Um, and in my personal preference, I just didn't like that. So I cleaned it up a little bit, and then I would pump again. Like I said earlier, I ended up um, resorting to my manual pump over my electric pump. But when I was going back to work... But when I was going back to work, um, I thought I was going to be pumping in my car. So for my electric pump, I got a car adapter. I got a car adapter just in case um, because with my employer, 
Um, I worked for a doctor and he told me that I was not able to pump in anywhere other than the bathroom and I didn't feel comfortable with that, so I told him I was going to pump in the, um, in the parking lot in my car. So, right before I went back to work, I went and got a car adapter. It just, um, plugs right into your cigarette lighter. I never ended up using this because, like I said, I did my manual pump. Um, it was just a lot easier, especially with pumping in the car. Um, there was too many cords, but, um... I will go over the story of my employer and why I wasn't able to pump anywhere else and the whole situation. Um, I'm not working right now, but um, it was a very tough situation. It was a very stressful situation, and I needed to get out of that. Um, but that is for the electric pump. Let me turn my pump off. Um, and then just disassembling it, I take the tubes. <coughs> If your tubes have moisture in them, if you see little water drops, when you're done pumping, take the flanges off and leave them connected to the pump with the pump on, and that will take that um, moisture out. Um, but I just take my tubes and I wrap them around my hand. And I put them in a baggie. And then I put them in my pump bag. Um, and then for my Lansano manual pump, this is what it looks like. And I've gotten two so far. When I first had Kylie, I knew we were going to be on the boat in the summer, so I wanted a manual pump because obviously I'm not going to plug in on the boat to pump. Um, and my mom would be at my house with Kylie, and I would be up north with Stevie's family. So... I have this, it's Lansano brand, and then it is a 5 ounce bottle, it comes with two 5 ounce bottles. Um, the two different pumps that I bought came with two different things, um, so I'll kind of explain what came with them. Um, two different flanges came with them, and they're two different sizes. This one's a little bit smaller, if you can see, and this one's a little bit bigger. This is the size that I use, I don't think it says the size on it. Uh, I'm not sure, but, um, this is a bigger one. Um, so I use that, and then it comes with two bottles, and then the, the second pump that I bought only came with, maybe it came with two, I don't remember, but it came with a bottle, maybe two. It came with extra, um, membranes, and then it came with, maybe it was only one nipple, and then it also comes with a regular top. Um, just a flat top that doesn't have a nipple to it so that you can store the milk. Um, so I'm just going to disassemble this real quick and show you how to reassemble it. Okay, so this is the main part of your pump. This is what all your parts are going to connect to. Now I would just start out by putting your membrane in. This has a hole at the bottom. Um, and it goes right underneath here, and your milk will come out of there and into your bottle. So you just screw the bottle on like that, and it looks like that. And then you take your flange, and you just push it in there. Sorry for Kylie in the background. Um, and then you have this little piece right here. That just sets right on top. And then you have a rubber piece. That looks like this, and that just goes over top, and then there's a ridge right here on this main part of the pump, and you just pull it over the ridge, it looks like that, and then you have the pump handle, and it has a hole like that, and it also has a little piece here that this is going to fit on. Now there are two different levels. There's this level, which is the level that I always use, and then there's also this other level. If you can see, there's two different holes. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that is exactly. I guess I could have read the directions a little bit better. But I didn't look into it too much. I just did it how I felt comfortable. Um, it, maybe it's for the letdown. Maybe it's because um, one, you pump a lot quicker. It doesn't have enough pressure. And then the other one has a lot more pressure, and I felt that that one with the more pressure 
got my milk out more. So I don't know if it's supposed to be for a letdown and then the regular pump, but I just use the one level. Um, leave in the comments below if you know what those two different levels are for. I'm not sure, like I said. Um, and then, so here's your pump. And then you just attach it to your breasts and you just pump. Now, I create my own letdown with this pump, like I said, because I only use the one level. So, I just pump quicker for a little while, and then I pump slower. And then you will have your milk. And then there are also, they don't come with the pump, and I've never seen them in stores. I had to order them offline. But there are 8-ounce bottles. Kylie drinks more than just 5 ounces sometimes, so I wanted to get a couple of 8-ounce bottles. They're only like $7.98, I believe, at Babies R Us. And same thing. It came with a nipple and a top, and that's that. And um, if you have any other questions about pumping or breastfeeding or anything, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any other videos that you would like me to do for you, please let me know. Post those in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out with all your questions and concerns that you had. Thank you.